So I just watched a, I watched a couple because a lot of people been giving their thoughts on Amanda Seals being on Club Shay Shay. And to be honest, I don't like her on this platform. I don't like her on this platform because she's so super amazing, intelligent. And I just feel like she needs someone of her stature, of her level to understand the level of things that she has been through in her life. I did see the beginning, but the interview was three hours long. And I just was like, I can't watch him dismiss her, especially being an African-American woman. Because if it was a male, he would have not taken away. Like it was a part in there where he tried to defend her. Like he tried to take away from her experience. And I'm just like, and she did eventually, I don't want to say she checked him because that'll come off as her being a angry black woman, but she let him know what I go through. I've mastered and looked at it in every different way. I'm educated about how, you know, black people and white people interact or just culture in general. And he was just like, well, I feel like, and it was all about how he, and she eventually said it was based off how you feel, but I'm the one that went through it. So, but I just watched when she talked about Issa and I love Insecure. Like I love the show and I really like Issa, but I have to say, I fell for Amanda. Also, I want to piggyback off of, this didn't seem like a safe space for Amanda at all. It was another instance of not feeling protected and heard. He, he, I feel like Shannon went into this interview with already the naysays in his ear. And it was like she said, most men want to shut me up or most people want to shut me up. Or tame me, if you will. And I feel like he wasn't, he's not on her level. He's very um, misogynistic, like 100%. I heard him one time say with Ocho Cinco, if a woman farts around him or go to the bathroom due to number two, he's done. Like, and Ocho was like, that's a normal, you know. He's very, I just... He's not um he's not a figure that I feel like Amanda. Like I feel like Jamel Hill would have been perfect or a different male host, uh, um journalist or interviewer. He's not even a journalist to be honest. He's just a man who's a celebrity due to his fame who can interview people and that's just be honest on that. I feel like Amanda going on here he doesn't know how to either he, he and he doesn't know how to like cut you know I feel like she would have been better if Charlemagne or somebody even Charlemagne isn't but I'm just saying somebody else if you will he just wasn't the person for he rubbed me the wrong way he just seemed like he wanted the tea but like I said I feel like he started the interview with preconceived notions about her so anything she said, he wasn't even listening and understanding the experiences she was going through. But I want to speak upon the whole Issa and her situation. I feel like Issa was wrong, bro. Like, if I'm getting kicked out of a party because of your publicist, and then you tell me we need to have, y'all need to have a discussion, and she says she don't like me, I feel like in this day and age, or just an age period, you not liking someone is not good enough. If, especially if you don't have receipts, you just don't like me. Like, if I'm asking, if I'm telling you I don't have a problem with you, and you, I've been in a situation where people don't like me because of what I have. And to me, it's, and they try to act as if that's not it, but it's like, I've done nothing to you, like, at all. And because I am vocal about how I would like to be treated and that I don't allow people to like run over me, I'm not combative. But if I feel like I'm backed up against the wall and I need to protect myself, I will say what I need to say. I don't have to be 
yelling at you. I'm loud in general. But I'm not about to be a pushover for you to just like. And I felt Amanda in that moment. It's like, you don't like me. And she said the girl hung up on her. I mean, she hung up on the girl. She's like, that's all I need to know. It's like, I don't need to hear why you don't like me. But we are in a world where you want to be liked. You want to be desired. And it feels good to be desired. But I feel, Amanda, you get to a space where my mental may not be able to handle why you don't like me, especially if I've done nothing to you. Like, nothing. And I feel like Issa not talking to her friend and just being like, you know, this is business at the end of the day. Like, we had a party for us. And because you don't like someone, it's not like Amanda would have stepped to her. That's not, obviously, but it's like, you just, I can't stand females that is petty like that. And I feel like it make me look at Issa a certain way. Like, you got to call a spade a spade. You can't say I'm not involved, but then try to get me, like... I just felt like that, sh that's poor mean girl behavior. You know what's going on, but I'm not involved. It's like, let me know why your friend is mad at me or your journalist. Not so I can, if the girl just don't like me, she don't like me. But at least I'll know like, okay. And you know, I can think upon it. Or I can say, you know, it is what it is. I don't, but for you not to, for you to, interject and then to pull away and like that make me look at Issa real sideways and I just don't like mean girl this is why I used to not hang with females because one, one moment it'd be I don't like you it's like why you don't like me I didn't do nothing to you and I remember being in middle school being like I'm not gonna be clicky clicky with females that's when I learned that lesson because You'll be over there the next day and they'd be like, I don't like you. And you're like, what happened? Like, what did I do? And you literally not talk to that person. And I learned that. But I can't imagine being in the work environment and having, and then being out socially with these same people celebrating and then feeling ostracized and unwelcome. Like, and then... For the people who like to bash people and lie, I just, that irks my nerves. And I could, I could, I literally like teared up for Amanda. Cause you could tell like that junk hurt, bro. Like we got to do better as people. I'm just saying. But Amanda is one of those that's for us, for black people. And I just don't understand how it could just, I don't understand. It seemed like mean girl energy um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's some colorism issues, especially when Issa said, well, you just remind me of the character. It's like, or I thought you were like the character or something of that notion. It's like, you created the character. You hired me for that. But you know, that ain't me. Like, and I can say Amanda's character on the show was annoying as heck. Like, I used to be like, how is she friends with these, these, this girl here? But I also want to say, like, what happened to the other girls? Like, why no one, why we don't protect and just be there for one another? It's really sad, man. But I didn't watch this interview because she just, you got to be on. She needs somebody that could challenge. And I'm not saying in a combative way or anything like that, but could hear her clearly, let her speak. And if they had something, they was just on the same level. Like... I'm sorry. He just wasn't... He looked stupid. He actually ruined... I don't want to say he ruined his platform, but I feel like it just showed how... Like, ugh. Like, I'm not saying I don't like Shannon, but I just... It just... I can't stand when a male ego tries to treat a woman or a female like... As black women, we already don't have a voice. We always are, quote unquote, the angry one. But if a male said the same thing, black or white, it's like he's just trying to make a valid, pro valid, you know. So, but that's my thoughts. What y'all think?